Kazakhstan and Vietnam plan to increase the level of cooperation between the countries. The countries reaffirmed the commitment to strengthen bilateral partnerships in various fields. Among the promising areas include agriculture, light industry, transport, logistics, tourism, as well as legislative framework. Vietnam and Kazakhstan we plan to continue our close cooperation and mutual support on regional and international level within the framework of the UN and CICA. In 2020, Kazakhstan will chair the CICA meeting, while Vietnam will chair the ASEAN event, as well as become a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. I'm confident that our countries will work together to increase the well-being of the people from the two countries. Last year, the total trade value between the two countries reached nearly 1.5 billion US dollars. Kazakhstan mainly exports metal and wheat to Vietnam and, on the other hand, the country imports made in Vietnam's products of light industry and food. Cooperation between the two countries will soon intensify due to the launch transport corridor China-Vietnam-Kazakhstan-Europe. There are also plans to introduce a visa-free entry and resume direct flights between the countries. Fuel from Kazakhstan has entered the European market for sale. The first export batch of about 2,000 tons was shipped from Atarao Oil Refinery. European motorists will use the I-92 fuel type in the continent. The previous ban on the export of light oil products from Kazakhstan in 2011 due to the insufficient production volumes has been lifted. The Atarao Refinery exported the fuel product abroad for the first time since the ban was lifted. According to the Kazakh Ministry of Energy, the local fuel made in in Kazakhstan is in great demand in the European countries. Members of the ministry assured that the quality of the fuel supplied by the Atarao refinery has increased due to the modernization of the facility and the launch of new technological installations. The enterprise sold nearly 1 million tons of fuel this year in the domestic market. Caspian ports located on the east-west transport route will be placed on a single digital platform. The project includes the exchange of data between the ports of Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan and in the future Turkmenistan on the movement of goods from its departure point to the final destination. The platform will be created to increase the efficiency of logistics operations between these countries. The project is implemented together with the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The goal is to accelerate communication processes between the ports. In the first stage, a reference system between the ports of Kazakhstan and Azerbaijan will be created. In the future, transport, railway and ship companies will also participate there. This will save time for various procedures as well as speed up the process of transshipment of goods through this corridor. In addition to logistics services, banking and insurance will also be available in the platform system. Experts said that the project will quickly meet the requirements of growing freight traffic. The freight traffic this year so far has increased by 43% from 2018. This suggests that every year, the corridor attracts more companies for the transport of goods. Therefore, the use of a digital platform will expand the capabilities of the corridor to achieve global goals. The Kazakh ports of Aktau and Kurik play a key role in this corridor. Therefore, the operational information exchange with these ports will ensure that the volume of goods, date and other related data will be known in advance. The digital corridor model is being used at different ports worldwide. Currently, experts are studying the experience of Hamburg and Rotterdam ports. The new platform system will be launched following the completion of technical preparation and determination of the financial resources. The Baikonur Cosmodrome is publicly open for tourists. The procedures to obtain visa and permits have been simplified. Travellers will no longer need to provide different kinds of documents in one week prior to visiting the place. The documents are now provided at checkpoint at any visiting time. The Space Harbour has been included in the top 10 destinations to visit in Kazakhstan. Meanwhile, the country is planning to build a 50-hectare large entertainment and tourist zone near the space complex. 
Memorandum ayasında investor... The investor plans to invest 84 million US dollars into the project. There will be four and five star hotels, a shopping center, a restaurant, an ethno village and a space museum. A pool and a water park as well as bowling and billet halls will be opened as well. The halls for games equipped with the latest telecommunications, space attractions with various technical special effects and a platform for monitoring the launch of rockets will also be built. In addition, a free economic zone will also be created on the territory of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Experts said that the presence of large foreign investors will act as a trigger to the development of entrepreneurship in the city. We plan to create a free economic zone next year once all the agreements have been reached. Large corporations can be located here. Investments will come to the region. This will positively affect the development of the city. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan have adopted the roadmap on implementation of cooperation in agriculture. The decision was made after the successful meeting of Kazakh Prime Minister Askar Mamin with the Uzbek Minister of Agriculture Jamshid Khodjaev. The document provides measures for the next five years in production, certification, trade, digital transformation, veterinary and livestock. The trade value of agricultural and agricultural processing products between the states has amounted to about 770 million US dollars in the last nine months. The main exports from Kazakhstan to Uzbekistan is wheat and cereal-type products, flour, sunflower seeds and sugar. Meanwhile, Tashkent exports fruits and vegetables to Kazakhstan. Introduction of the latest energy saving systems and renewable energy. In Bishkek, nearly 20 companies have introduced their know-how in green technology based on a variety of principles and ways to save electricity, heat, water and other energy-based resources. Meanwhile, the modern resources are able to produce energy using less production and financial costs. For example, this development of special electronic application allows monitoring all the control devices in the house to reduce unnecessary costs. Наша технология подключает к своей сети различные приборы, такие как приборы учета. Our technology connects various devices based on a system of network, such as metering devices, which is used to ensure more efficient use of energy resources. Electricity, gas, heat and water meters show not only quantified data, but also qualitative data of the use resources such as power, voltage, temperature, gigacalories and others. All these meters are wireless and has very high energy efficiency. Все эти счетчики абсолютно беспроводные, суперэнергоэффективные. Experts highlighted that currently the entire world, including developers, as well as Kyrgyz manufacturers of the specialized equipment, are trying to determine the outlines of energy efficiency of humanity's future. We already use everything that we produce in the sense of electricity. Therefore, business and households will very soon begin to look for green solutions that are energy efficient. And I think this trend will increase. As soon as we develop a sufficient legislative framework, which is the rules for everyone who can participate in this market, the trend will also increase. The Central Asian region is not lacking in solar energy, unlike many other regions worldwide. Therefore, there is a high potential for solar panel companies to develop the technology using sunlight. Engineers have also proposed to use the thermal energy of the earth river elevation for the construction of mini hydroelectric power plants as well as wind power farms. The engineers said that there are a lot of principles and ways to save energy and using non-traditional sources to produce energy. The more science is developed in this direction, the more ways and opportunities to build a green economy. An invaluable heritage of the Great Abai has been discussed at the Open Book Forum and Literature Festival in Brussels. Representatives of the embassies of Central Asian countries took part at the conference. The uh, anniversary of Abai is an opportunity for us, not just in Central Asia, to understand the value of his work, but also to take it to a world stage. And when one does that, one begins to understand that there are 
certain universal themes and values in the poems of Abai, his love for nature, but also the uh, realization of man's position in the universe. And therefore, he has achieved not only extraordinary status in Kazakhstan, but far, more, far beyond. And the more he's translated and the more he is talked about, the more people will understand that legacy. Finalists from the Commonwealth of Independent States countries of the Open Eurasia Contest were invited to the unique event aimed at promotion of national authors overseas. There were 29 Kazakhs among them, including poets and philologists, writers, as well as artists and professional translators. They highlighted the necessity to rethink the meanings of the thoughts that Abai left behind to all of humanity. Abai ол әлемдегі Конфуций, Шекспир, Гёте, Пушкин деп кете береді. Abai is Confucius, Goethe, Shakespeare and Pushkin in one person. All of his human qualities, creative heritage, consisted of pearls of national spiritual wealth, are provided for learning not only to Kazakhs and Turks, but also to representatives of the globe. Therefore, our current task is to convey the full depth of Abai's thoughts to all people of the world as well as help to understand correctly his invaluable heritage. Several events are planned to be held as part of the Book Forum and Literature Festival. These include poetry readings of works by Kazakh and Kyrgyz writers Abai Kunan Bayuli and Chinggis Aitmatov, meetings in the embassies of Central Asian countries in Brussels, and also exchange of experience in research of the invaluable creative heritage. The Golden Man procession through the museums of the world continues. This time, the most valuable artifact has arrived in Greece. This is the 12th country where the exhibit has been showcased. Prior to this, treasures of the nomadic civilization of Eurasia have been presented in Belarus, Russia, Azerbaijan, China, Poland, South Korea, Uzbekistan, Macedonia, Turkey and Malaysia. The epigraphic museum in Athens presented 144 items from the collections of the National Museum of Kazakhstan. This yeah, okay. fantastic okay. exhibition. Uh, I am an archaeologist. I work in uh, the Epigraphic Museum in Athens. I knew from Herodotus, that is the, the father of the history, about the Scythians and all that. So now I discover uh, the civilization, the ancient civilization, with this exhibition of the Saka people, the nomadic people. Visitors of the exhibition were especially interested in the reconstruction of the Saka warrior in clothes embroidered with gold inserts and a headdress decorated with plates in the form of arrows, snow leopards, mountain sheep and birds. In addition, a collection of archaeological findings from the early Iron Age were also displayed. Kazakhstan is a representative of the whole steppe civilization. Greece represents the European civilization since many sciences and democracy were born here. Therefore, it will be interesting for these cultures to become close to each other. From ancient times, our people have known about each other. In the works of Al-Farabi, Abai and al Sarin, we could find references to Alexander the Great. Here in Greece, people know about the Golden Horde and Al-Farabi. Therefore, it will be a big achievement to share the knowledge of these two cultures to ordinary people, scientists, historians and university professors. Famous archaeologist Zainola Samashev gave a lecture on the early Saka cultural complex of Kazakhstan to Greek scholars. The exhibition is held as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity state program. The exhibition in Athens will last until December 11th. Asana Ballet hosted the Beautiful Korea Dynamic Busan Concert with participation of artists of the Busan National Korean Traditional Arts Center. The event was organized based on friendly relations between Kazakhstan and South Korea. South Korean artists presented Busan's musical and dance performances to sophisticated spectators. The event was organized by the Korean Cultural Center and the South Korean Embassy in Kazakhstan. 
I think the public liked the concert program that we staged. In the evening, we performed various traditional dance performances as well as songs with traditional instruments. Most importantly, we offer the Dudar Ai song for our Kazakh instruments by playing these instruments. This is our first visit to Kazakhstan. People are very friendly. We like everything.